The second most important type of two port network configuration is the Pi section and the Pi section essentially looks like this. Now over here Z2 is not equivalent to Z3 and if I make Z2 to be equivalent to Z3 then this kind of a network will be known as symmetrical and this is asymmetrical of course asymmetrical pi section and this kind of configuration where the series um, has an impedance on one side and it does not have an impedance on the other side is known as unbalanced so if you wish to convert it to balanced then we need to put an additional impedance in the other series arm also now please understand these kind of two port networks they they can also be thought of as um, uh, as portions of transmission lines when we wish to balance the transmission lines or when we wish to manipulate the impedance of a transmission line we add a portion of a transmission line into an existing transmission line and that portion would look something like this now please understand when we add another impedance in the other serial arm then uh, the total impedance it needs to become Z1 so this is balanced by section and then we have another configuration known as lattice section a lattice section would look something like this again we've got two ports AB could be used as input and XY could be used as output so here we have uh, I'll try to make an asymmetrical balanced lattice network with an additional impedance here also so if you wish to make this as a symmetrical section this is asymmetrical And if you wish to make this symmetrical, then we must make ZS1 is equal to ZS2 and ZD1 is equal to ZD2. And then we have another configuration which is known as bridged. section and it is something like this we need to make a T section first and then we make a bridge on top of it so no doubt this is symmetrical but unbalanced and an additional impedance Z3 in the form of a bridge uh, from you can say the input port arm to the output port arm would make it as a bridged T section 
and if we wish to make this as a balanced T section then what we do is we we put up some additional information uh, impedances here and average impedance here of course let us say this becomes Z1 by 4, all of these become Z1 by 4 and this becomes 3 by 2 3 by 2 and this becomes let us say Z now having the information of all these uh, configurations of networks will essentially uh, be important when we study the parameters of two board networks. In the next tutorial we'll study parameters of two board networks. Which are Z parameters. Y parameters. H parameters A, B, C, D parameters Now the Z parameters are known as open circuit impedance parameters Y parameters are popularly known as short circuit impedance parameters H parameters are known as hybrid parameters and ABCD parameters are known as uh, ABCD parameters and we'll talk more about these parameters in the next tutorial and why are these parameters important because we need to have a relationship between the uh, input and output voltages and input and output current for two board network in order to maintain uh, network integrity so very important uh, we'll study the parameters in the next tutorial until then take care bye